hi guys how are you doing and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope that you have been fine i hope the month of december has come with light peace and a lot of grace okay <music> So a, week, uh, a few weeks ago, somebody gave me a call and asked me, Doreen, how can I become a HIV and AIDS advocate? Uh, well, I tried my best to give that answer, but you know, sometimes you can only do so much. So today I decided, let me give that, like, do you need skills? Do you need an education? What level of education do you need? Like, depending, you know? So first of all, the very, very first thing that I want you to remember till the end of this video is you are unique. You are you. And if you're going to use your story to create change, then remember that your superpower is that there is only one you and uh, stop comparing yourself to anybody else. It doesn't matter how big they are, how small they are, how vibrant they are. They can only be one you. Okay? And that right there is your number one superpower number two create a niche when I say a niche I mean have a specific area of interest you cannot really be everywhere because there is there are a lot of advocates advocates advocating for different uh, HIV and AIDS related issues so when you come up with um, you, you want to come up as an HIV and AIDS advocate you need something that is going to identify you, something that is going to separate you from the rest of everybody else and you can choose to venture into um, advocate sorry for prevention you can choose to advocate for treatment you can choose to advocate for children who are born uh, with HIV or children who are highly exposed infants you can choose to um, to speak about stigma you can choose that you, your niche is going to be adolescent girls and young women you can choose that your niche is going to be about girls you can uh, you can choose that uh, it's going to be about women in the diversity you can choose to uh, venture into uh, HIV among young men or men in general you can choose uh, the LGBTQIA community or the key populations of the, uh, in some other aspects like the HIV community is so large so create a niche is your niche and your niche has to identify you your, your niche can be prevention and uh, in pre prevention is also large we have condoms we have prep and pep we have the dap ring we have um, voluntary male circumcision so it depends with what you are comfortable talking about what you are comfortable advocating for a thing you need to stop comparing yourself it is a, not a competition it is an advocacy and in advocacy there is the bigger picture what do you want to see do you want to see the end of new hiv and aids infections so stop looking at what so and so is doing look at what you can do in your capacity because the person you're looking at has definitely overlooked some things that you have seen identified as gaps and go with that okay you you can actually choose to and I, as i started again there is only one you there is only one unique you so go with that okay a lot of us seem to compare ourselves to Doreen is, is writing nicer quotes than I am how do I come with that and then you copy and paste everything else that Doreen has come with maybe Doreen is just writing what she's re relating to so don't compare yourself to another person when I started it's one of the mistakes I made when I started advocacy I wanted to be like this girl and I used to admire her so much so much and then I realized that she can't be me and I can't be her and we're different we're unique and we're championing for different things and that is why I I started following my own path okay it is good to get motivated by another person but don't compare yourself to that other person the thing is advocacy does not really come with a fat paycheck or a fat bank account to your name most of the time it is a lot of free long hours work and sometimes you will feel like i am exhausted you know 
how can sometimes you will even be taken out of the country and for free it happens it has happened to me i was taken out of the country i went i came back no money to it but you know you can re- not really tell somebody that i was not given even even 50 usd for for, for just lunch you see so don't have too many expectations that i mean it i speak about my story you and it is going to swipe in uh, carry me on their shoulders and start taking me on a world tour there are very many hiv and aids advocates all you have to do is the best within your space another thing don't quit your job if you have a normal day to day job don't quit your job for not focusing unless you have your own organization some of us the other day somebody told me they want to quit their job in IT to come and join that focusy because they thought I was doing so well and then I told them I have not quit my job yet <laughs> because I have a day job that pays my bills because this advocacy focus requires me to go from point A to point B it requires me to you know, people call me hey Doreen can you come over to the studio and then they require me to go with an Uber and you know they're not going to pay me so what pays that bill it is my desk job and because hiv is cross cutting you can't really just put yourself in one tiny box always expand always be willing to go out outside the box think creatively think outside the box and don't don't burn the bridge that you really have just because you want to be this big shot hiv and it advocate it takes a lot of time it's taken me 5 years in the advocacy field and i'm still not even where half of where i want to be easy man but uh, sometimes you will feel overwhelmed sometimes you will feel like you're giving and giving and nobody is everybody just keeps taking when i started i used to get so bothered and i would be like i really want to save this one and i really also want to save this one and i want to save this one so i found myself in a lot of crisis because most of the time i want to save almost everyone and then somebody told me dorin you're not super girl you can't save the world and that has stuck by me because you cannot pour from an empty cup sometimes you need to take that break sometimes you need to ignore the messages it is okay to ignore the messages because people don't understand that you cannot keep pouring from an empty cup okay so don't when don't wait until your cup runs dry sometimes be selfish with yourself and choose yourself first and do what you can If you save one person, you have saved one less soul in the world. But don't have like 10 cases and they're all overwhelming you and they all need require assistance. Learn to say no. If it's something you can't do, just tell them, unfortunately I'm not an expert in that, maybe I refer you to someone else. And there, there is nothing wrong with that. But don't try to save the world. Another thing Being a HIV and AIDS advocate especially if you are on social media sometimes you will feel like a celebrity because a lot of people know you anyway don't let that get to your head remember that you're doing this for a cause and in the cause you will meet people you meet people in the on the road you will meet people in a matatu you will meet people everywhere and they will like oh my god i know you from somewhere i don't start behaving like you need to start signing their autographs okay you're just a normal human being like them and make sure that they understand that if you find me in your local supermarket wearing sweatpants and crocs i am a normal person i am not some big shot celebrity okay i don't have like a team that tracks my things i just do this on my own personally some people think that i have a team that tracks things but i tell them i am the team because i don't have that capacity yet of having a team passy so learn to be yourself no matter how many people know you i know people will know you people will see you on tv every other time learn to be you because at the end of the day there is still one you the very last thing the very last uh, point is no matter what you do in and focus stay true to your course stay true to what you have make media your friends but then again don't uh, sometimes they will not reach your expectations but don't also have over expectations from them 
they, they just people who are also trying to make an ends meet and you sometimes will need them to push something that you have in mind so make them your friends but also don't have over expectations about them. the very last thing the very very last thing because i had forgotten this one social media advocacy is what i call the muddy waters and sometimes you will get bullied sometimes you will get people who don't like how you look who when you are taking dtg and you gain a little bit of weight they will start telling you go to the gym why because they believe they have they're entitled to that opinion in your life sometimes people will tell you you don't have hiv you're doing this for the money some people will tell you you're using your hiv to get money uh, some people will tell you 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 don't you you you're just trying to make hiv look beautiful and there is nothing beautiful like that some people will ask you how many people you've infected and some people will just be so uh wrong in very many levels some of them will tell you just infect me and all that and you will get annoyed a lot of times you will get annoyed but one of the things exercise using the block button exercise using the block button I am a very pretty human being. You will never find a negative comment on my on my um, posts. You know why? Not because they're not there. It's because I use the block button every day. I might not be able to get the time to reply to the to the, all the messages and all the texts and all the comments, but I go through all the, all of them and I'm like, mm -mm, you're gone, you're gone, you're blocked. Why? Because some of these people want to steal away the positive energy. There is nothing beautiful with living with HIV. And I can tell you that for free. But the moment you have come to terms with the fact that, hey, I am a beautiful story. There is nothing wrong with me. And I'm living this life unapologetically. And somebody wants to drain that energy from you, block that person. Learn to exercise. Because I see a lot of people getting bothered. I also used to get bothered. Until I learned like... I don't need to, to, to get into scores with these people. I just need to block them and they're gone. Also, a lot of people will want your number. Know what you can actually handle on social media. Know what you can handle off social media. If you want to have a public number, have it and use it for communication with these people. But always have a personal number where you have your own personal space. Where sometimes you can just switch off your public number and your people who have your private number are okay with that okay and they're in your inner circle because you need to have at least one safe space personally whatsapp is my safe space people who follow me on whatsapp know how amazing i am so okay so have a safe space for yourself it is okay for your mental health it is okay for yourself as a person and it actually helps you to sometimes look at life beyond advocacy okay so that is all i have for today and if you have if you have some you feel like there is something i did not touch on please feel free to share with it on the comment section if you have any question also feel free to share with me on the comment section and uh don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms and thank you so much for continuing to like sharing and subscribing my videos and also don't forget to subscribe and like and <laughs>